And welcome back. Here we are for the final matchup of the day for week one. Sakura Blues versus Kayazi. This one's going to be a fun one. How are y'all doing? Nito Queen hunted. Great. Still recovering from that last series. No kidding. Right. <laughs> I'm excited to see this one too. I'm I'm not too familiar with um the members of Kayazi. Um, but I've heard some good things about Sakura Blues, so let's get yeah. this game underway. Certainly my uh my most looked forward to match of the day. Sakura Blues and Kayazi will be Sakura Blues in blue, thankfully, and Kayazi in orange. Crimson Allison Rose for Sakura Blues, Savvy. Emmy and ne uh, Nella. Nella, yeah, my goodness. Is Nella is going to take the first shot. Oh, just off the post. Can't quite follow that one home. Savvy, the slow roller. Alice will make the play. And these teams, again, Nito, they have history with one another. Wins and losses on either end. So you All know right. that both teams would love to come out swinging. It'll be a good matchup then. 50, sends the ball bouncing off the ceiling. Kind of tough to read the bounce. We got. Nelia going up the wall at 50 with Alice. Crimson keeping an eye on Alice with a forward pass. Not able to, to get a pass up, though. It looked like they were low on boost. Alice trying to take it in from the corner there, but Nelia patient, able to get the touch off the challenge. And Blue's going to try and... What a mm. shot by Nelia. Hits it off of Crimson in the middle of making a pull over here. Yeah, right off of Crimson's car. Yeah, it looks like goal. Crimson was going for half 50, half pass out towards mid. And unfortunately, the pinch right off the top of her car. And it sends it right into the back of her own goal. So that is how the first goal is scored between these two squads. Gayazi certainly will take that one. But... They have all of the shots on the board so far, and the only goal of this game. There's a good shot there. First one of the game for the Sakura Blues is now Alice takes another quick shot that's going to go just high. Nelia again with the clear. Rose trying to put a center crimson there for the pass. It's going to be a goal. 1-1 one, one on the board. Quickly able to find a play after the little mishap. A small breakdown. Yeah, small breakdown in the defense there of Kayazi. And of course, as you said, Rose doing everything she needed to do to set that play up. Will bring us to a 1 1 score line. 315 left to go. Crimson ends up getting by Savvy. Can't quite get the follow up. Rose, last player back, will eventually touch that one towards the sidewall. Now, Alice over top of Nelia. Rose up for it. Savvy, a solid touch. Looking down towards Emmy. It's three minutes. Still on the clock. Good save by Alice right out in front. Still a 1 1 game, and it's been a pretty fast start, I'd say, for both teams. I agree. It seems like this match has maybe started off more fast paced than the ones we were watching before, but maybe that's because these teams know each other well enough to, to start it off uh, at, a, at 100%. Emmy trying to pass it center for her team. But Rose is going to pass it out to Alice Crimson up for the pass. Rose play. trying to finish it up, but Emmy's there for the save. Solid passing play there for the Sakura Blues. They just can't quite knock it home. Crimson looking for the bump. Alice, the slow roller. Rose over top of the defenders. Can she get the double? It's there for Alice, but Savvy cuts across to make the play. Two minutes on the clock, still a 1 1 tie. Rose gonna come off the wall, gonna try and clear from her side. Looks like Crimson is just watching for the pass. Oh ooh, my ooh. goodness, what a save. Not enough of a save, but Nelia almost able to get the shot out of harm's way. Alice following through, completing it though. A little bit of the pout there from Nelia as well. Knew she made a wonderful save. It just wasn't enough to get that one away from Alice. So a 2-1 game. Kayazi 
They need to find the equalizer in the next minute 35 if they want to try to force overtime here in game one. Nelia will turn on it. Has Emmy looking for the redirect. This is going to pop way up high off the ceiling. Alice reads it well down to Crimson, who then touches it looking for Rose in transition, but Emmy in solid position makes the play. Okay, Yazi is putting some shots on that, but they're just not going in. Blue team looking good on their defense. We got a demo by Emmy taking Rose out of play. Still, Alice hitting it off the ceiling. Crimson there for the challenge, and it goes into orange corner. Rose, maybe off the backboard here. Somebody can find it, but Emmy's there for the clear. Small touch. Looking for the play. There was Rose. Emmy's going to turn on this one. Has only Alice to beat. Nearly got her with the fake. But she does manage to make the touch. Good save on the goal line. This one's going to fall towards the cage again. Crimson will clear it away. Emmy looking for Nelia right out in front. What a save from Alice. Keeps the game at one. Wow. It seems like Sakura really knows, or Sakura Blues, the team in general, just has a good sense of where everybody is on the field, and they're able to get those, those saves. Crimson pushing it up. Rose also up, but Emmy's able to get back with the touch. Savvy looking for the pass. But Alice is back. Is that, was that, I don't know if that was a smart hit there. It was, it was kind of scary, but Blue's able to take control. Ooh. And just like that, Sakura Blues with the win. Very, very close call a couple of times there for Sakura Blues. Alice, certainly a game-saving save, but a couple of shots went just a bit wide in the dying moments as well from Kayazi and Goodness gracious, what a first game to start off this series. We knew it was going to be close between these two teams, and they're pr proving it to us here uh, after a wonderful, wonderful game one. But, you know, I I still feel like a bounce goes a, a different way or or a 50 gets one in favor of the enemy team, and that's that's an entirely different game. That's a chaos win. For sure. There have been some good attempts to score by Kayazi. Alice with the early goal. Four minutes and 49 seconds on the clock and Crimson's able to get a pass or Savvy not able to get the touch she was looking for and Alice is able to put it in. Alice playing janitor in this series. A couple of <laughs> nice cleanup goals by her. And hey, you know, in, in hockey, we call them garbage goals. Goals that just happen because of a rebound right out in front or or just, you know, they, they don't look pretty, but they count for just the same. Right, we take those. Yeah, absolutely <laughs> they do. And Sakura Blues on the board. Alice doing a great job of playing cleanup as this one will be Nelia towards the cage. Back wall, Emmy can't get there. Solid touch from Rose to play over top. Crimson with the flick over didn't even get a chance to think about challenging that crimson's able to take control of this play savvy just Ooh. can't get that touch what a great great flick by crimson crimson my personal mvp of the qualifiers has been relatively silent throughout the series so far of course this is only game two but a solid goal there from Crimson to make it to nothing for the Sakura Blues. There, Savvy gets challenged by Alice. Crimson, a one-on-one -on -one opportunity again. Actually, there's nobody back. She'll flick it on. She'll score. Second goal for Crimson. Three nothing for the Sakura Blues. Yeah, I wasn't. I looked back over at the goal, expecting to see some orange bodies, but didn't see anybody. So I wonder what happened there. Maybe a little miscommunication with, with who was up, but Sakura was able to get the goal. 3-0, Sakura Blues running away with game two in the first minute. So Alice might make it four, Savvy doesn't get there in time. Something is happening to the KLZ defense and it's not good. I don't know what it is, maybe, maybe Sakura is just, they're getting a little in their heads and um, hopefully we can see KLZ turn it around here. They have plenty of time to do so. Kickoff goes. Over to blue side, Rose is there, but Nelia trying to make a challenge to goal. Crimson getting an over one defender. Savvy trying to go up Alice. 
not able to make a shot on goal. Orange is going to take it up. Past Sanelia, but she turns around before she realizes it was past her. <gasps> a, a dunk from Savvy above the goal. Nelia going up for it. Oh, what a save. great save on the goal line. Now Blue's a little bit mixed up here. Hopefully, they can get past. Still four goals needed as Alice is going to make it five. Five nothing wow. now for the Soccer Blues. Alice with her hat trick here in this game. Three goals on three shots. Has an assist to her name as well. And this not looking great for Chaosi. If if there's any kind of bright side right now, if you're the orange team, a five goal deficit with three minutes left to go feels a lot better than a five goal deficit with a minute left to go. But still, it, it's never going to feel good to be down by five. Yeah, it's you just know that the game is that much harder and the pressure has to be. And there we go. We get Chaosi on the board. 5-1 with three minutes left. If they can keep up this, this momentum, um, Maybe we can see them come back. Well, four goals now is the deficit. And as you said, three minutes left. Can Kayazi score another one here? Nelia yeah, on goal. Can. And it's three goals now with three minutes wow. left to go. So all so of a sudden, it, it, doesn't, around. <laughs> it doesn't feel as bad. But still, I mean, three goals is still three goals. It's... You can't count on kickoff goals to be your your uh, main source of income here. For sure, and you want to take the risk, but you want to take the right risk because you want, you don't want to cost any more goals on your side because you can't afford them. Wow. Okay. Ball, a ball carry by Savvy to set up this. I don't know what's happening, but whatever it is <laughs> that they just said in comms has really put a fire under their gameplay. Looking really good. Three kickoffs in or two kickoffs in a row looking really great maybe they heard me say that you can't count on kickoffs as your main source of income and they are challenging that notion now Possibly. as they might find another one here crimson nearly played that into her own net it was a solid play though to play it across the box and now that the rotations have solidified a little bit more things starting to slow down we approach halftime and somehow we are at only a two goal deficit but here's Emmy trying to play this out in front for Nelia. Not going to be able to beat Crimson to that ball. Rose will find the clear. Two, two minutes, 15 seconds left on the clock. Allison Nelia with a challenge. Sends the ball over to blue side. Crimson falling. Alice trying to rotate back. Ooh. Emmy and Rose with a 50. Leaves Savvy alone to over challenge. Emmy, can you get the touch off the backboard here to the teammate? No. Crimson's going to try and push it up. Is it on target? We got Nelia with the save. Chaos is going to gain possession here. Good clear from Alice, though. Keeps them at bay for the moment. Crimson on goal score. 6-3 now with a minute 36 left to go. And the offense was looking so good. For Kayazi, I thought for sure we were going to see another goal, but the answer from the Sucker of Blues pushes this game that much farther away. It's three goals needed with just over 90 seconds left to find them. And in 3v3s, it can be so very difficult to beat all three opponents three times in that span of time. For sure, and you, you really want to be hyper-conscious of your positioning because one, one teammate out of position could could give up a goal and like I said before they really can't afford it at this time Nelia taking it off the wall savvy following it up we got crimson with the clear crimson speeding up the play not letting orange get back Nelia there for the touch Emmy up for the pass trying to pass it back down on the teammate but isn't able to do so good pass straight to Emmy but can't quite get by Alice ready for that challenge Another solid pass from Savvy. The Nelia on Gold Rose makes the save on the back wall. And Alice will clear it away. So many great saves from the Sakura Blues in this series. And another pass, another goal. 7-3, Sakura Blues look to take game two and extend their lead to 2-0 on the series. 
Kayanzi really needed to keep up that momentum that they got from those three goals in a row. But it looks like they have him falling short. Um, Sakura Blues is just too strong on the offense and making those shots that count. Final 20 seconds will tick away from the clock here. Ooh, a sharp angle from Savvy. Why not put another one on the board there for Kayazi? A little bit uh, too little too late, unfortunately, for them. But the hat trick for Savvy has to feel pretty good, I would imagine. Uh, you know, it was fun when they, you know, they, they scored those three goals in the span of about 15 seconds. And it was fun. We thought maybe there was going to be a comeback. But Sakura Blues said no time for fun. It, it is our time to win this game as... Savio roll another one in, and you just you think that Chaosi they're finding ways to score goals. Savvy has four of them, but the defense needs to be a little bit tighter. They, they've given up a couple of soft goals, and that's been the difference in this game. Mm -hmm. I don't know, Hunter. I think they're hearing you, and they and they're trying to prove you wrong because <laughs> those goals are, are coming in coming in hot. But it is the final five seconds of the game, and. Two, two, two goals to be made is kind of impossible at this point. Yep, <laughs> ball's gonna hit the ground and Sakura Blues takes a win yet again. That they do and they'll move to 2-0 here on the series. Only one more game needed in the next potentially three games for the Sakura Blues to take the series, but it's been a solid fight for Chaos. They, they got down very quickly, very early in this game. And, you know, even though they weren't able to, to, to make the comeback complete, it is great for the mentality to to make it only a two goal game this could have easily been a a seven one potentially even seven nothing yeah. blowout and and you're feeling horrible going into game three but you got five back you, you've proven you can score against this team now you just gotta bring it all together for game three for sure yeah that that, that really shows the team isn't one to give up and you no know, even if it seems hopeless you know they'll, they'll try their best to continue to be playing at their best so it's always good to see that, and I think that it'll it sets up a good momentum for the next game for sure. Just like you said, you can see Kazi taking their time here in the the uh, post match lobby, potentially just discussing what they want to do differently in game three. And and we've got to go back to game one. It was a very very close game between those two teams. Kazi nearly tying the game up in the dying seconds and. You know, game two, a little bit different of a game, but we know that this Chaosy team can hang, and if they can get their momentum going, uh, you know, take a victory here. This series is certainly far from over. For sure, and I, I think that um, what we've seen from Sakura Blues is that maybe uh, the reason why we're getting such close games is we I see this, like, um, I don't know how to say it, but... Sakura Blues will play really strong in the beginning, and maybe because they they have a lead, they'll kind of stop playing as hard. And then you have Kayazi where they're not playing so hot right at the start, but then they pick it up by the end of the game. So Ooh. hopefully, well, we'll see a goal from Rose here. This was like a five-point passing play. Granted, Savvy had a touch there, but that started in the defensive zone for the Sakura Blues. It was all three players touch the ball. Savvy makes the save, and then Alice, a beautiful pass to Rose. And Sakura Blues just moving the ball around like it's nothing right now. They get the first goal of the game. Alice going to push it up. Crimson with the touch. Alice there again. Rose gets demoed by Emmy. Crimson's there for the shot right in the top corner. Catching the defense off guard. They are thinking they're safe. But they were not. Yeah, Savvy gets killed by the post there a little bit. Unfortunate. And... This is dangerous now if you're Kazi. Stop the bleeding right here. Do not let that lead build like they did in game two. Or we could see a very similar result. This time, there is no game after this one if Kazi ends up dropping this. 2 nothing. a minute in to game number three. And you're right. It's been fast starts from Sakura Blues. Here's another quick shot. And Nelia got to make the save. And... Based on the last two games, Kayazi, they've come back pretty strong. Can they do it again? Can they score these two goals to tie us up? Emmy looking to get this out of 
to their half. Goes back to Nelia. Emmy's gonna try and push up. Rose gets a touch, puts it past. Emmy gets a, gets a touch into gold. Alice with the save. Oh, oh my goodness. So, the bounce off blue again. Able to use uh, blue as a little skipping stone here. Yeah, Hell yeah. Right off of Alice. All right, pops it into the goal. And that play. And big stuff from Alice in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> that play, unfortunately, starting because of a, a little bit of a triple commit there from the Sakura Blues. I don't think Crimson really wanted to go along. I think she got caught up with the touch from Alice. But either way, the ball ends up in the blue net. That's a great pass down. Looking for Rose. Alice is going to turn. Has two to beat. Doesn't get all of it. And this could be dangerous. Emmy's there for the redirect. Is that on goal? No, it's just high. Nelia can't put it home either. That was the opportunity for Chaosy to tie us up. And Rose is going to pass it down to Crimson. Crimson's there. <gasps> we get a touch by Emmy. It's enough to give Nelia some time to react. Orange team. Alice there to clear. Emmy's back. Gets the touch. Alice trying to get Emmy to hit the ball out. Crimson able to get get it put past Nelia. Rose passing it out to Crimson. Another touch by Rose may have stopped Crimson from getting that score, but we'll see Rose trying to pass it down and doesn't look like Orange is back. No, but here comes Emmy now. Quick shot towards the net. Crimson. Gets a light touch, Alice will follow it. Actually gets a double touch pinch off that back wall. Wins that challenge as well. Here comes Rose to try to touch it by Emmy. It's gonna bounce around in the corner. Crimson, looking for a touch out in front. No dice now as Emmy down to Nelia in transition. Back wall play, Crimson doesn't find it. The dribbler on net saved away by Rose. Nelia there for the rebound, doesn't get all of it either. And Crimson will walk the ball away with the lead. 150 to go. Great challenge by Emmy, however. It's going to force Rose up for it. Savvy drops it down. Nelia looking for some kind of force. But Alice, again, keeping the ball out of the net. A minute 30 left. Still a goal needed by Kayazi. Savvy passing up to Nelia. She's able to react quick. It's, it was on target, but Alice was there. Emmy again shooting, shooting it down, but Crimson's there for the pass. Trying to get the second touch. Savvy with the clear off the sidewall. Nelia up for it. Emmy waiting for the touch. Crimson. Alice coming back. Gets the touch. Oh. I'm not sure if that was intentional. Oh, no. Rose gonna pinch it out of the corner. Emmy gets the touch. Savvy's gonna try and recover this play here, but Alice is able to push it over to orange side for blue. Great pass down to Crimson as well. Nelia has to make the save. Still a goal required for Chaosi to send us to overtime. They were in this position in game one. They couldn't do it. Can they do it here in game three when it matters? Nelia towards the net just off the crossbar. Rose actually keeps that ball in the corner. Emmy's going to play it. She's going to pop down towards Savvy. Emmy shoots. She scores. We're tied up at two with 31 seconds left. Have a game. This could be Chaosi's chance to have another chance to take this series home. Two to two, 31 seconds remaining. Kayazi need this next goal to send us to a game four. Alice. Blues. Final 15 now is Savvy looking for Emmy. This is gonna fall down. Crimson, solid challenge. Nelia back into the corner. Good play out by Alice. Savvy was looking for a touch. This one has overtime written all over it. Crimson's just got to kill the ball. She actually leaves it up. Emmy shoots. What a block from Rose to keep that one away. We're in overtime here in game three. Sakura Blues just needs for one goal in to finish the first day of, of our league here. Can they do it? Or are we going to see... Another game from Kayazi. Crimson. Getting demoed by Nelia. Alice quick to respond. Alice gonna try and pass it out. Not able to get the touch she wants. Orange all going for this one. Maybe the nerves seem to be getting to him here in this overtime. 
Emmy gonna try and push it up. Rose. Crimson up. Sav is gonna try and get a touch and Alice pushes it to Orange Corner. Good clear way by Emmy. Now Savvy next in line will go over top of Crimson. Solid back wall play from Rose. Nelia wants to keep things going, but Alice has Crimson waiting. Looking for the deflection. Savvy gets there in time. Good read by Savvy to clear that one out, and Emmy will help it along as well. Blue corner. Now comes Crimson. Over top of Emmy. Savvy's going to back up and wait for her opportunity. Alice. Cuts that one off. Crimson's looking for the deflection again. This will bounce out. Savvy nearly gets the touch. But Alice in good defensive positioning. We've played about a minute and a half here in overtime. Emmy takes that away. Savvy can't quite find it. Here's Nelia. This one's going to be on the back wall. Crimson gets the touch away. Solid defensive positioning. I, I don't see a team that's doing or being more aggressive than the other. I think that both of them are applying pretty equal amounts of pressure here. Alice sending it all the way over to Orange. I mean, going up for that, trying to make a play. What a weird 50. Sends it almost into the goal, but thankfully a little bit wide for Blue Team. Alice getting 50. Crimson going to take the shot. Savvy getting a oh. touch, almost sending it into the goal, but not quite. Savvy. Nearly had the game winner there. Here comes Crimson, the back wall double. She scores. Oh, what a shot to end it. The game with a double touch. Crimson, a beauty again. Hero of game three for the Sakura Blues, and they'll take the series. You were not wrong about Crimson being one to watch. What a <laughs> shot. <laughs> unbelievable finish to this game well played from both teams but eventually it was the soccer blues taking both one goal games that ends up doing it and that is just how close these teams are games one and three could have gone either way a different shot a different save or maybe a mistouch here or there and this could be a 2-1 series for Kayazi, but it ends with the soccer blues taking it three nothing and you know, even though it, it it was only three games, it was just as close as I thought it was going to be. For sure. they. I think Chaos did a really good job. Um, Sakura Blues, they just, they they knew where to be. They had um, back of where they needed it and were, were making the shots they were taking. That was really important, too. Like, they had a lot of shots. As you can see, Chaos had tons of shots on goal, but they just were not going in. And that probably... Uh, how to do with the, their defense as well. So a strong defense and a strong offense makes for that easy win. All right. We're an absolutely incredible performance right there by the Sakura Blues and Kayasi. Wow. Almost took them out every single one of those games. That game two is insane, but uh, oh, what a day. <laughs> what a day indeed. <laughs> Got all four matches out. Um, well, Thank you, everybody, for coming out and watching this. Um, thanks to all the women in Rocket League who made this happen. On behalf of Crimson Wings Entertainment, I'm pretty. Um, and with me are these wonderful casters, Nito, Queen, and uh, Hunted. And it's just been a blast today. I can't wait to come back here next week and see some more phenomenal play. So any shout outs from y'all? Um, no, uh, just that I just want to say thank you for giving me this opportunity. It's so much fun. I am not, I'm not, I don't cast other than on my stream and tournaments like 1v1 tournaments. So being able to do this has been so much fun. Thank you guys and thank you everybody in chat and everyone lurking and watching to support the stream because um, having opportunities like this uh, really means a lot, I think, to, to the community. I think we're really lucky to have something like this happening. And I will say ditto. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, again, on behalf of Crimson Wings Entertainment and the Women's Carball Championship League, thank you, everybody, for joining us. Have a wonderful rest of your Saturday and your weekend. We will see you all next week. Bye, guys. Later.